Let's create our own custom GBT, which will assist us in our design process. My name is Kia, and here is Akimo. Welcome back to my channel. OpenAI released a bunch of cool features around two weeks ago for their products. One of these features that I found it personally very interesting is the possibility of creating the custom GBTs. Of course, in past, we could use the OpenAI APIs in order to integrate and use uh, their models in our website and application. But in that scenario, we needed to have some coding and machine learning knowledge. However, right now we can use the GPT Builder with the same familiar chat-based user interface that we kind of use it all days with the chat GPT itself in order to create our custom GPTs. So get sure to watch this video until the end. I'm gonna make my own custom GPT, which is going to be the user interface design assistant. Uh, and I would like to see if I can use the AI finally in my design process or not, and how much I can trust AI in this case. So bear with me until the end of this video. And if you are new here, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel, which is one of the ways that you can support me. And it means a lot to me. And please don't forget to share your opinions, feedbacks, and thoughts in the comment section with me. I'm indeed reading all the comments. Now, without further ado, let's get started. So let's start creating our own custom GBT. What we need to do is to come here in the openai.com website and sign in in this platform. I have already made an account here in this platform, so I just need to click here in the login uh, option in the navigation bar. If you do not have account, it's a very straightforward process. Here I'm clicking on the login uh, item here in the navigation bar, and then I will see these two items that I can go further with. The first one is basically taking me to uh, the ChatGPT environment, and the second one is taking me to the uh, environment that I can uh, play around with the API in order to integrate the OpenAI models into my website and application. Here in my case, I'm going to open the ChatGPT itself, and of course, we will be landed in the ChatGPT environment, and we will see this familiar user interface. Before we go further, I have to mention that you need to have the plus license if you want to create your own custom GPT. So you need to have the subscription. And as you can see here in my plan, uh, it is kind of going to cost you around $20 per month, uh, actually exactly $20 per month, which is a fair price based on the value that you are going to get from this uh, AI. So let's get back to the process. Uh, here on the left side, we will see this menu that we can switch between the chat GPT and the other custom GPTs that we have used so far. Also here, we will see the chance that we have. In this case, uh, we need to click on the Explore, which will open this dashboard, so to say, uh, which uh, I can kind of manage my GBTs in some sort. Uh, here, as you can see, I have the, uh, the list of GBTs that I have made, and then I have the list of the GBTs that I recently used, and we have the uh, GBTs that has been made by OpenAI itself. Up until now that I'm making this video, uh, OpenAI uh, didn't release the uh, GPT store, uh, but they promised that until the end of the November, they will open the uh, GPT store that everyone can publish their, uh, their GPTs there. And you can also discover many new GPTs and use them in your working process. Now, if we go all the way up into this page, we will see this uh, item here, which we need to select in order to create a new GBTs. When you click that option, you will land it here in the GBT Builder environment. Here on the left side, you have your chat with the GBT Builder, which you are going to use, or which basically is the interface uh, of interacting with the GBT Builder in order to create the custom GBT. And of course, we also have the configuration uh, panel in which we can manually configure our, our custom GBT or uh, kind of uh, modify the things that we have already made. I'm going to get back to the Create uh, tab here. This is the way that I'm going to customize my uh, custom GPT. In the right side, we will see this preview, which is going to kind of show our chat GPT and how it works. So basically, it's going to be the playground before we finish the uh, configuration process. So here we can play around with our GPTs. So let's start to create our GBT. So as I said before, I'm going to use the GBT Builder and this chat user interface in order to customize my GBT. So let's start by answering the very first question that the GBT Builder asks us. What would you like to make? 
It's a very generic question. So I would like to use my custom GPT in the ideation process. So I would like to have a GPT that is going to ask some questions from me to understand my problem and come up with some ideas to help me to kind of design my user interface design. So this is my first message to the GPT builder. I would like to have a GPT that generates me some ideas for user interface design based on the problem or project briefing that I give to it. So whenever we see this animation here, this means or this indicate that the GPT Builder is starting to configure our custom GPT. And in each step, we can quickly see the result in the preview. We already see that there are some conversation starter here uh, related to the GPT or related to the previous message that we gave to GPT Builder. Okay, in the next step, we need to set a name for our custom GPT. And as you can see here, the GPT Builder already uh, generate me and suggest me some name. So UI Design Assistant, which I feel like is a good name. So I will send my next message like this, that I like this name. Let's go with it. So in this way, we set a name for our custom GPT. In the next step, we need to uh, kind of choose a profile image for this GPT that we are making. And as you can see, the GPT Builder is generating some suggestion with the help of Dolly. Uh, and you can also customize this one. For example, in this case, I do not like this uh, profile image. So I want to have something more simple and minimal. By the way, here in the right side, you can see the uh, preview of your chat GPT. Okay, here the GPT Builder is generating another profile picture for us. Okay, yeah, this one is fairly better. I would say, let's go with it. Okay, the next step, we get this new questions from uh, GPT Builder. What kind of project or problem briefings do you envision discussing with this assistant? Okay, so I would like that the GPT asks as many as questions needed to understand my problem and a kind of needs. This GPT is working as a UI designer, so it should recommend UI design. So I send this message and again, we see that the GPT Builder is updating the GPT configuration. Okay, in the next step, we need to define the tone and the style of the communication with this GPT so we can decide to have more professional and formal uh, tone of uh, communication or we would like to have a casual and friendly. Based on the fact that I would like to use this uh, GPT in my working environment for my uh, kind of projects, so I would like to have more formal and professional communication style. Okay, it seems that we are done for the first step. Of course, you can go to the configuration tab and you will see everything that you have done so far. So instruction is here. You can add more or you can edit some stuff. And of course, the conversation starters are here. You can delete them or add the new stuff that you think is more proper. Another cool feature is that you can add your own data set here as well. So here in the knowledge section, you can upload your file and even make your uh, custom GPT more customized. The next thing that is going to kind of make your custom GPT more powerful and more distinguishable from the others is that if you can add actions to your GPTs, actions are basically the way that your GPTs can interact with the world outside the GPT. There are some other tools like a Zapier that is going to help you to create your own uh, actions without um, having enough knowledge about uh, coding. However, I'm not going to cover it in this video. And if you like to know more about it, you can search in the YouTube or Google. And if you want me to create a video about that, just write down your comment in the comment section. Now we are done. And the only thing that we need to do is to just save our chat GPT or a custom GPT. So here on top, we have this option. I can open the drop down menu and then we have, and then we have these three options to go further with. So we can publish our chat GPT only for us, or we can uh, give this possibility that we share our GPTs uh, via the links with the other people, or we can make it even public. So in this step, I just want to keep it for myself. So I click only me and click on the confirm. Now in our custom GPTs list, we have the UI design assistance that we made. Let's see how it works. So I would write down my very first message like this, that my 
client needs a website, let's say e-commerce website. Let's see what would be the response of the GPT. Design an e-commerce website can be an exciting project to provide the best possible recommendation and design insight. I will need a bit more information about your client's need. This is exactly what I wanted to have from this GPT, basically asking more detail like a real designer. Ask me more detail rela related to business, target audiences, branding and styling, key features, and the rest of the list that you can see here. I would say uh, my client business is, let's say, shoe producer. Target group is the teenagers. For styling, you give me some recommendation. Key feature is that I would like to have online shop. Competitor is like Apple and Nike. Okay, we're done. I'm sending this message and let's see what would be the result. So here we got some recommendation and suggestion uh, for the branding and uh, the key feature of the online shop, which seems good. We can use even this to uh, pitch our idea for the client. I'm going to ask the custom GPT that we made to create me some wireframes. So a quick look at everything that the GPT generated here. I have to say that it's exactly like what I would do if I wanted to do this thing myself. Generate me some wireframe. So first it's going to generate me the layout of the page uh, in the form of the list and text, which is very impressive. So here for the home page we have header, hero section, features, product, story to link, brand message, bestsellers, reviews, and news letter. And then we have the product page wireframe, which is also good. So I would say, let's ask to visualize the product page, for example. Huh? Can you visualize the product page for me? Okay, we see this icon and that indicates that uh, the GBT is generating image using the DALI. I would say it's very impressive. However, maybe it's not exactly the style that I would like to have. But when I'm just thinking about this, that I sent three messages and then I got all this information and even the visualization on top, I'm very happy about the experience that I have. And at last, I would like to ask uh, the GPT Builder to recommend me and suggest me some a color palette so okay nice I assume we are going to get a list of colors yeah that's very cool so our primary color is going to be the blue also we have some explanation huh, where we can use this color for example we can use it for header footer and call to actions very nice very impressive okay I want to push it one step further. I would like to ask our custom GPT to apply these colors on the design that it gave up to us. So let's see if it can do that as well or not. Here we go. going to create us a new image and I hope to see the combination of this uh, kind of wireframe that it gave us and uh, these colors so let's see what we will see okay it's very impressive so this as a kind of result of the ideation process I would say is very good very awesome of course it's not following all the his interface principle that we are familiar with also it has a lot of work to do but just imagine I just wrote down uh, max four messages for this GPT and then we got all this information. It's very impressive. As my first impression, I have to say that I really like the concept of possibility of creating our custom GPT, especially without having to do any coding or without having to know about the machine learnings. This is very amazing. And I'm very amazed with the way that uh, OpenAI developed this concept in the form of custom GPTs. And the most interesting part that I found it very essential for GPTs is indeed the actions. 
actions are basically the way that the GBTs can really interact with the world outside the uh, GBT itself. And the more powerful actions our GBT has, more value the GBT can bring for the users. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if it was so, please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and leave a comment for me. Get sure to share which kind of topics you would like to see in my channels more often in the comment section with me. Let's learn together and see you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.